but hello gamers this is a relic rune called the dry yearn and i'm going to run you through this i want to thank playstation for the review code for this game and here we go we are heading into the rune it's well it's small it's just this room and another similarly sized room on the other side of this big door now for this you're going to need the vine cutter this is going to be something you acquire as part of the story so if you don't have it yet well keep playing so we're going to remove the vines and we're going to expose a crate we're going to move this crate out and then to the end of this hall straight in front of us once we get to the end i'm going to jump up on it and onto the platform above me now once you jump up here you're going to see a yellow valve here that we're going to turn and what this is going to do is open the blast doors in front of us. If you look over to the right, you'll see the objective. Now with this open, we're going to go inside, follow this train track to the end. We're going to have to use our pool caster to pull down this stone in front of us. And probably no surprise to anyone, but there's going to be a train cart on the other side of this. So I'm going to pull it instead of grappling it because this is quicker as I learned in the last Relic Rune video. We're gonna pull this uh, pretty close to the blast door. And once we get to this to the end, look up and to the right, and you're gonna see some more pool casting location spots. There's actually three of them here. I don't actually think you need to pull down all three of these, to be honest with you. But you do need to hold on to R2 there, Brian. Good going. All right, so we're gonna pull all three of these down. And once I have these pulled down, I'm going to hop onto that cart that I pulled out up onto these things that I'm pulling down. And then just to my left above me is going to be the key to the door. And the door, of course, is right in front of us there. Okay, so there is the key. key module. I'll find a use for you. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over to the other side. Oop, not down there. And now I'm going to go through the door. Once you go through this door, you don't need a password for this, by the way, so don't worry about that. But once you go through this door, look up to the left, and you're going to see a vent that you're going to have to use the pull caster once again to open. Now that it's open, you're going to jump in and crawl to the end and turn right. And then you're going to drop down now in this room you're going to have uh, after you go through this vent you're going to have uh, one of those fire gleams which will have to explode in order to get out of here now i'm going to attempt to ignite this unfortunately i'm going to do a heavy melee attack please tell me i'm not the only one that happens to once we blow this open we're actually going to be right outside where we were earlier with the wheel that we used to open the blast door we are once again going to open the blast door. This is kind of a timed event, just as it was the first time. However, this time you're going to have to pull the cart underneath it to hold the door open. That is why we pulled the cart down here. Kind of staged it first. Once you get this into place, just hop on top of this. We are going to climb up and around to the left-hand side, but we just have to wait for this door to get closer to us so we can jump onto that yellow bar. Once you do, go up and to the left. And there's going to be another pool caster door. Or barrier, rather. As soon as we drop down over here. And this will be the last thing we do before we collect our ornament. And voila, there we go. We just need to drop down over here. It'll be right on top of it. If you guys were able to complete this because of this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, let me know, and I will see you in the next video.